good morning everybody welcome back to the channel welcome back to the kayak uh, I'm out here on a pond I haven't fished in a really long time and boy the conditions have changed um, there's obviously a leak here somewhere in this pond because the water has dropped significantly now I know we haven't had a whole lot of rain here in the last two months uh, in some south central Pennsylvania however um, I'm seeing fish blow up everywhere guys so this might be a pretty good morning um, but uh, I don't think we have had what would do this and I can hear some water going out the spillway um, which leads me to believe that there's probably a leak back there somewhere so uh, anyway on the menu today largemouth bass uh, maybe a couple of pickerel uh, we'll see um, it's early July. I'm seeing fish bust everywhere, guys. So hopefully we can get on them. Stick with me. See what we can put in the, in the boat. So I left the pedal drive at home today, guys, because I don't know if you can see on the GoPro yet, but there's a lot of weeds in this pond. And... They would definitely be getting caught up a lot today. So I just left them at home, doing it the old fashioned way and paddling around. Now normally a good bit of these weeds are below surface, but since the water is so low, and you can see up here on on the ground uh, or on bank the water is not always up in those rocks so it's uh, quite a bit lower than normal let's uh, throw a couple of casts over here by these stumps and normally you don't see this field of stumps like this either uh, normally they're all subsurface as well Well, not all of them, but a good bit of them are. There's all kinds of little like bluegills and stuff guys that are hitting all these bugs at the top. And then I, every now and then I'll see a splash, which is usually a bass or pickerel trying to munch on these bluegill. This was the pond where I was fishing in the rain and caught a couple really nice bass. Uh, if you haven't seen that video, I'm going to go ahead and link it up above. It's never a bad idea to fish in the rain. There's one. Oh, yeah. We have a pretty strong fish here, guys. What do we got? Oh, he came off.
There we go. I saw him go get it. That's probably a pickerel. Nope, that's a bass. That's a good bass. He barely hooked. Get in the net. Oh, guys, what a chunk. Pliers out, and then we'll show them to you. Should have brought the scale with me. Guys, take a look at that bass. He's a little funky tail there. He got a little funky something going on with his tail. But what a healthy bass. Big mouth. And that camera just died. But thank you, buddy. And away he goes. All right, I feel better. We're on the board. It was cool to go see him eat it. You see the wake coming, you're just like, please get it. Please get it. And he just slurped it down. There we go. That's a pickerel. Yep. Little slime rocket. Dude. Stop. Thrashing. Let me get the hooks out of you. Forgot my towel. You gotta open up, dude. Little pickerel. Thank you, buddy. All right, guys. So, last week I uh, headed over to Susquehanna Fishing Tackle and I'm not sure what happened. I went in there and I was going to uh, buy some baits. I uh, wanted to get a new bait caster and another rod. Uh, because I've enjoyed throwing that and I wanted to learn more and do more so my intention was to go in there and buy the exact same thing I have which is a Shimano SLX DC uh, reel with a SLX rod so that was my intention so I went in there I bought some uh, some baits. I wanted to try. I needed to restock on buzz baits and some other soft plastic. So I got some of that stuff. Went over, bought what I thought was the SLX DC reel. And maybe I didn't say the same right thing because I'd been looking online at a couple of different rods and reels. Uh, so maybe I didn't say the right thing. I had one thing on the mind, and something else came out of my mouth. Or vice versa. So I get home, I take out a Shimano Corrado DC 150. So 
Um, man, I tell you what, I love the feel of this reel. Uh, so I thought I would do a little review with it so far. Uh, it seems very smooth when I took it out. Feels really good in my hand. Um, I haven't casted with it or caught a fish on it yet. So let's get to it. Let's see what happens. All right, guys, that's where we're gonna wrap it up today. Uh, not a whole lot of fish. Uh, the water level here has significantly uh, impacted the fishing. Um, they have uh, moved away. I think they're just hiding down deep because the water keeps falling. Uh, I see a lot of bait fish, a lot of bluegill, a lot of really small bass, um, but uh, I, I haven't seen a whole lot of bass moving about um, I'll he see a couple here or there crush something on uh, on top, but uh, nothing uh, nothing you know like I'm used to seeing out at this spot. But uh, today got to throw around the Corrado a little bit. Um, I like it. I love the way it feels. Super smooth reeling, nice casting. Um, gonna get out here again sometime soon uh, in the next couple of days. So hopefully we'll be able to get the first fish on the Corrado. Uh, at that time. Just those two fish today, that one bass uh, with a really funky tail and uh, that one itty bitty pickerel. First pickerel for the year, scratch off another species for the for the year. Uh, so if you guys like to follow along with me today, give me a thumbs up, drop me a comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and if you don't mind, share the channel and I'll catch you on the next one.